Brad, over the last few seasons, you might have noticed the girl on the sidelines with a great arm chasing down balls behind the goalposts. She's the daughter of former NFL quarterback John Kitna, but this is the story of her journey to the gridiron. This is Jada Kitna. She's a student equipment manager for Sun Devil Football. Growing up around the game, you would think Jada always knew she wanted to work on the gridiron. Sunday, you know, that's where we're going. We're going to dad's game and, you know, having five brothers, that's, they all play football. Like we're always taking them to practice or that's what they want to play. They want to play catch. But Jada was more interested in art than football. She always had a passion for painting, photography, and drawing. Her true love for football came a bit later. Jada's dad began coaching at his alma mater in Tacoma, Washington, the same high school one of her brothers was playing at. I was just sitting at practice one day, and my dad was like, here, like, we'll just have you spot the ball um, and then just move it wherever they run to, you just move it there. And I actually ran up because they ran off the sideline and I put it like on the sideline. He was like, oh, no, no, no. Like, you have to keep it on the hashes. And so he taught me how to like read a script and everything. And I really loved it, really liked doing it. What she didn't realize was that she could do the same thing when she got to college. My brother went to TCU and he was like, Jada, there's like people that do what you do, but like that's like their job. And I was like, oh, like you could get paid for doing something that's like fun that I already like to do. Her first equipment gig was at TCU, but after one year, she transferred to ASU and started working for the Sun Devil equipment team. I contacted Jerry and he's like, sure, like we don't have any other girls on staff, but like, you know, we'll go ahead and we can try it out. You know, obviously it's probably a little different because you're a girl, but come on staff. It seems like you know what you're doing. Jada has been thriving on the equipment staff ever since. This past year, her brother inspired her to combine her passions for art and football after he asked for her to paint a pair of his track spikes. While some businesses were struggling in 2020, Jada's gained its foothold. He loved them. I posted them and people were like, oh, that's cool. Um, and then I made my dad a pair for his games. And then from that point on, people were like, hey, could you make me a pair of these, a pair of that, I want a pair for this, a pair for my nephew. So it just like kept growing and growing. Her biggest project was for ASU. Jada spent several months painting 32 custom shoes for the Sun Devil football staff, all with a small personal touch. They're all the same style, um, but for each coach, we offered it to them to make it unique to them. Um, they could add, you know, a saying, a name, a area code, whatever they wanted to represent. It was just something special that I could do to give back to the coaches that, you know, is specific to me. With graduation around the corner, Jada's shoe business is thriving, but she's not ready to give up her career working in equipment either. I would love to do both. I would love to do shoe, like paint shoes full time. I would love to do equipment and have that be my full time job. Jada sells her custom shoes on her website, jadafromtheblock.com. Now you'll have to look out for those sweet kicks on the field next fall.